Hey, good morning. Let's see how it performs today. Give it a minute. There we go. It is not stop just sitting at the stop signs anymore. It is actually just pausing and going. It's still not as fast as I would do it, but like here, it's just going, it would just sit here forever in the previous update. So that I think is an improvement. A lot of people were saying that um, they saw a lot of improvements in the lane selection, but I haven't seen it so far. So we'll see. I mean, I just did a couple of drives on it so far. So um, sample size is pretty low. But as I drive more, maybe I'll notice uh, more improvements. sun's in the face. Usually there's not a lot of traffic around this time, but that's good. We'll see how it performs in traffic. I'm curious to see how it performs at a couple of points. And I'm also curious to see if it improved with the phantom brakes because it breaks very significantly in some places. Let's see, no, it's going out of the lane. No, we can't have that. There's a lot of cars around me right now. So roundabouts, uh, no, still not there. And this is the second time it messed up on roundabouts. Actually, third time. Let's see how it takes this turn. This morning, it just turned really, really aggressively for some reason and just went like boom. Uh, hopefully, it won't do that every time. And there's a car in front of me, so maybe. Yeah, this was better. Yeah, this was bad. So that was maybe just a fluke. It just turned the steering wheel and just went, boom, just... I was like, whoa, my God. If there's usually a car in front of you to guide, guide the FSD, it performs better. But if there's nobody, it just does what it thinks is best. And I haven't done anything so far. I haven't really pressed the pedal or nothing. Actually, I did uh, take over in the roundabout. So I guess one disengagement. But I haven't pressed the pedal so far. No phantom brake so far, which is good. I usually hover my foot over the gas pedal or actually not a gas, but accelerator, I guess. Uh, just to be cautious because it'll break sometimes and there's a car right behind me and we can't have that right now okay good let's go I'm really curious to see how it's going to take that semi left turn that it always has problems with so that'll be a fun test and I really like this thing. You can just good because here, if you're holding onto the steering wheel, it just gets covered by. You can't really see it, but here you can't see it. 
I think here it'll be too far, but this I think this area is perfect for uh, the blind spot camera. Good, perfect. It, it's it's not just sitting on the stop signs anymore. That's what I wanted to see. Great. That's what I want to see. What it does. You see that stop sign? From that stop sign, we have to instantly take immediately like a semi left turn. So we have to be in the middle lane. And I'm really curious to see how it's gonna do it. Nobody coming from the left. Go. Just go. Oh shit. No, we can't go. See this this is slow. This is this was really slow. I would have gone for sure. Okay, move back here. So this is what I was talking about. This is amazing. This is the perfect spot, I think. I'm still playing with it to see where I want it the best, but I think this is this is it. This is the spot right there. Okay, let's see how it does here. It's creeping forward. Go. Ah, no. We're supposed to be in this lane, and now it's gonna. No, I'm gonna have to take over. No, we can't have that. You can't just take a turn from here. So, no improvement here. So I'll just take the next exit. Fuck it. supposed to be in the left lane signal take a left and also I want to see if it's um, at least yields on the yield signs because it's not been doing that like at all it doesn't it doesn't do it take a left turn here and there will be a yield sign when we take a right also it is rerouting itself faster that's that's another thing I've noticed You can see the ETA and where you're going now. This thing used to be here. So a lot of small UI improvements they've made, which I'm loving, really. It's amazing. This is the biggest one, though. This blind spot camera was here. And when you're holding the steering wheel, you can't see it. My hand is in the way. So this is perfect. But honestly, I don't see any significant improvements from 2.4. That's what I had, 6.9.2.4. That's what I had before this. And this is uh, 3.1, the latest one. It's a bong light. This is really exciting. Uh, every single month you get an update and it feels like a new car. It's like that excitement just keeps coming back. When you buy a new car, you're all excited and that just keeps coming back. Every single software update is like there's something new and you're excited to see what it is. It's, it's really amazing. Good. It's still going over the line. Take a right immediately. Perfect. Perfect. That was good. Sounds in my face, but I can still see. Now that's a yield sign, but we have a green light, so uh, should be good. Yeah, it does not even slow down, so that's not improved. Let's go five miles over. No, we don't need that. one spot it oh it's it's phantom braking there's nothing there's nothing there and another thing I've noticed some people have that video button why is it doing this some people have that video recording button uh, but some people don't have it so I don't have it anymore so I can't really send uh, like a snapshot anymore
that Phantom Breaking was new that in the last part if you back up uh, maybe 15 30 seconds that Phantom Breaking never happened before but it did today I don't know why maybe it saw something the shadow just trying to be safe maybe it's just that but there's one Phantom Breaking it doesn't matter how many times you go from here it will break every every single time and I want to see if it does it now I'm going to hover my foot over the pedal Accelerator, accelerator, and see if it still does it. Oh, it was a lit. It still did it, but it wasn't as hard. I think it just let go of the accelerator instead of just slamming on the brakes. But it was still there. It's still not completely resolved, but a tiny bit improvement there. And oh, I can, another thing. This is one improvement I noticed. Before it uh, turns in the t turn lane, it used to turn in the t just go. Oh my. It used to turn in the turn lane and then switch the blinker on, but now it switches on the blinker first and then turns in the turn lane. So that's an improvement. So there are some improvements. So this is an unmarked road, not unmarked. So it's not, there's no speed limit here, but it automatically sets itself to 25, but I go 55 here. So I just manually um, set the speed. But overall, honestly, not a lot of improvements outside of the uh, UI improvements. I really love that. And when you get so many UI improvements, you think the overall driving experience is better. Uh, like subconsciously, you think the FSD is better, but actually it's not that much better. There are minor improvements, but mostly I think overall experience of using FSD is better because of like UI improvements and this, this is good. So it turns, it's turning on the blinker first. But it's like turning it on and off for some reason. I don't know why. But we're here. Uh, make sure you hit the like button, guys. And thank you for watching.